And now it's time for a brief moment in hockey history with old time hockey. This is the story of the World Hockey Association. Two. In 2003, it was reported that the World Hockey Association was back and was once again set to rival the NHL. The WHA 2, however, was proposed by the league's organizers as a developmental league. The league consisted of six teams, some of which had played the previous season in the Atlantic Coast Hockey League, and all the teams were from the southeastern United States. David Waronka was the league's founder and also served as the league's commissioner. In addition, he either owned or co-owned all the teams in the league. The teams were called the Orlando Seals, the Jacksonville Barracudas, the Macon Tracks, the Miami Manatees, the Lakeland Loggerheads, and the Alabama Slammers. The league would only run one season, in 2003-04, after which, due to a falling out with the parent organization, it was served a cease and desist from the World Hockey Association and ceased operations. The Jacksonville Barracudas won the WHA 2's first and only President's Cup before the league folded, and the surviving teams merged with the survivors of the Southeast Hockey League to form the Southern Professional Hockey League for the 2004-2005 season. The teams that would survive the collapse of the league were the Jacksonville Barracudas and the Macon Tracks. The Orlando Seals would join the SPHL the following year and rename themselves the Florida Seals. Yet again, the World Hockey Association tried to break through to a mainstream market, but fell quite short of the goal, and became another brief moment of hockey history. And this has been a brief moment of hockey history.